All right, guys, so in this video, we are going to take a look at how to create motion graphic templates inside After Effects and how to export it as a motion graphic template and how to use that inside Adobe Premiere and how to change the font style, font name, font color and other parameters as you need. When you create a motion graphic template inside After Effects, there are a lot of benefits. You can add whatever parameter that you want to change inside Premiere. And even though there are a lot of uh, free templates or paid uh, motion graphic templates online, uh, those things may not be as you want. So that's why you should learn how to create motion graphic templates inside After Effects and you can use that inside Adobe Premiere. So let's go to the After Effects. All right, I am in After Effects. So you can see I have created a pretty simple composition. In this video, I'm going to export this animation as a motion graphic templates. Of course, I'm using this as an example, but you can create any complex uh, uh, composition inside After Effects and you can export it as a motion graphic template and use it inside Premiere. To explain the concept, I use this uh, simple uh, composition. To export this as a motion graphic template, uh, if not a MoGrad file, you need to open the Essential Graphics panel. If you cannot see this panel, you can go to the window and turn on the Essential Graphics, right? So this is the panel that we are going to use to export this as a motion graphic template. First, you need to select the master. That means uh, what is the, which composition do you want to use export as a motion graphic template? In this case, I select the, this composition. If you have multiple compositions, you can see that. Now here you can see the name. So this is the name is, uh, what is the name of this uh, MoGrad file? Uh, let's say anti-VFX uh, zoom animation. So you can type any kind of name. So this is the name that is visible inside Adobe Premiere, right? So now uh, you have option uh, set poster time. So what is the meaning of set poster time? That means uh, if you go to the Premiere, uh, and if you go to the browse these panels, uh, you can, uh, if you take a look at the these uh, templates, you can see this is a preview, this this thing we call the poster frame. So inside the After Effects, when you create a motion graphic template, we can pick a, a poster frame. Let's, uh, first you need to uh, move to the current time indicator, the frame you want to use as a poster frame, and then click on set poster time. Now uh, this frame, will use as the poster frame. Right, so the next option is uh, solo supported properties. When you click on this uh, button, you can see it will expand all the uh, properties inside the uh, this composition. So these are the parameters that you can add to this essential graphics panel uh, that you can use to uh, modify inside uh, Premiere. So all these parameters visible here, you can modify inside Adobe Premiere. If you go to the Adobe Premiere and if you select uh, a motion graphic template, you can go to the edit panel and you can see we can change the source text, uh, text properties, position scale. So these are the parameters that have been added inside After Effects when creating this motion graphic template. So based on your preferences, uh, you can add any parameter. So in this case, I want to change the font name, font style, font color, as well as uh, the background uh, solid layer color. So how do I uh, add those parameters? First, uh, let's focus on this text. If you take a look at this text, uh, you can see source text. You can uh, select this and drag and drop this to the essential graphics section, right? So once you do that, uh, you can see we have the source text, font, style, size. If you cannot uh, see uh, these elements, you need to click on edit properties and you need to turn on these checkboxes. Enable custom font selection, enable font size adjustment and enable fox style, right? So you can click OK. Now uh, we can change the this text uh, inside Adobe Premiere and we can change the font name, font style, those type of things. The next thing I want to do inside Adobe Premiere is change the font color. But if you scroll down, there is no parameter for the color, right? So text layer. To do that, we need to add the fill effect to this text layer. I got the fill effect and I change this to something like white. Of course, you can change that inside uh, Premiere. 
and here now you can see uh, because of the fill effect you can see uh, if you expand this and if you uh, fill you can see the color now I can drag and drop this uh, parameter to here now we can change the font color and the font style the next thing I want to change is the background color right so for that I scroll down the solid layer and I need to apply the fill effect to this layer too I apply the fill effect and uh, you can see a uh, color change based on the fill effect color I can expand this and fill and I can drag and drop this to the essential graphics panel and uh, we have added uh, all the necessary parameters and if you go down here you can see some other options add formatting right so if you want to categorize these things like uh, you want to create a group let's say you can add a group and you can type uh, solid settings and you can uh, put that uh, this uh, color to this group something like that solid settings and this white color is uh, for the uh, text uh, settings you can rename this to text settings and uh, you can put this here and uh, you can move that to that also too right so these uh, add formatting options like add groups add comments uh, you can use a comment option to add a comment like uh, change the solid color so any instruction that you want to put uh, into this motion graphic template that the editor inside the premiere can see these comments right so now we have added these things i think uh, you have a better understanding about what is the meaning of this formatting and stuff like that it is simple things so now we have talked about all the buttons inside this uh, essential graphics except except uh, export uh, motion graphic template right so now we have finished adding all the parameters now we want to export this as a motion graphic template so i click on export motion graphic template and uh, it will give you this message you need to save the project before uh, export this as a motion graphic template I click save and uh, now uh, you will get this export as motion graphic template right so now you need to select a folder browse and you can uh, select a folder inside uh, this uh, I select this location and I click save and the next option is compatibility right so when you add this to a premiere if you want to get a warning about if there is a problem with the font uh, that ha haven't uh, you are inside the adobe font and if you want to warn uh, the user that in order to use this uh, motion graphic template they need uh, whether they need to install the after effects those kind of things uh, if you want to add this uh, you can uh, turn on these check boxes if not you can uncheck and also you can add a keyword like uh, if you want to make uh, you can uh, do that inside Adobe Premiere too like uh, when you create a motion graphic template we need to we can add keywords that way we can easily search items let's type NTVFX uh, custom or like that so using these keywords uh, when you search things uh, you can use these keywords to easily find this template I click OK right now it is verifying the font inside adobe premiere uh, if you don't use the adobe font you can click cancel it will save uh, the uh, motion graphic template if you go to the location that we created so in the program drive so this is the uh, motion graphic template that we just created inside after effects you can see the extension more template now uh, we have create, exported this uh, after effects composition as a motion graphic templates now how do we use this inside adobe premiere you need to put this uh, template into the local template folder inside that is the folder that leaves motion graphic templates but i have uh, created a custom settings in my computer so i have created a custom folder uh, if you go to this stock library you can see motion uh, mogra template folder i use this folder as my local uh, my motion graphic template folder and here you can see custom uh, ae mogra so i have organized these things uh, 
very uh, organized manner that way I can easily access the when these uh, motion graphic templates whenever I need if you got the premiere and if you got the essential graphics panel and if you got the browse section you can right click here and you can uh, click on manage additional folders and you can add the any folder in your computer as a motion graphic uh, a template folder like this if you go to this this is this is my uh, motion graphic template folder i have organized uh, very clearly that i can easily access that and if you go to this uh, section and you can see all the folder structures so i can easily uh, navigate uh, between these uh, folders uh, very easily that way i can easily find necessary motion graphic template in here you can see i have created a folder called uh, custom a mograt files now i am going to uh, copy this uh, motion graphic file that we just created and i'm going to paste that to this uh, my uh, motion graphic template folder this is the folder that i normally use i paste this in this folder i uh, put the all the custom motion graphic templates i create inside after effects so you can if uh, if you haven't uh, configured this kind of folder structure you can uh, copy that to the local template folder you can find that on the c drive it has a long file path that's why i created the separate folder in my computer that way i can easily access whenever i want now if you go back to the premiere and uh, if you got a custom mogra template you can see this is the motion graphic template file that we just created inside after effects so now i'm going to use this you can drag and drop this to premium like this and you can play this right so you can see it is uh, pretty easily uh, playing this motion graphic templates and if you select this and if you go to the edit and you can see all the categories that we added inside after effects so if you expand the solid settings so we can change the solid color let's say we want to change it to something like green and click ok now we change that and if you got the uh, test settings so this should be our text setting you can see this is anti vfx something like that and uh, of course uh, if you want to add line breaks you can do that too right so you can see this is uh, you can do this kind of line breaks that's not a problem and if you want to increase the font size you can increase the font size as you need the one thing that we didn't do inside the after effects is we didn't add the position parameter uh, it should be handy if you want to center these things if not you can use the effects uh, sorry effect controls inside the uh, premiere and you can use the position uh, actually it should be better if we added the position parameter to this uh, otherwise we cannot center this uh, pretty smoothly right so now we can change the font color like this so make it bright very weird font and uh, now we have changed everything so i think um, now uh, you have a very good idea about how to create a motion graphic template inside after effects and how to export it as a motion graphic uh, file and how to use that inside premiere and uh, how to change the parameters uh, as you need uh, in this case uh, we didn't add the position parameter uh, you should consider these things uh, when creating a motion graphic template because uh, what parameters uh, do i need to change inside uh, premiere so those things are very important uh, by that way you can create any kind of motion graphic template inside after effects and use it inside premiere so thank you so much for watching and i'll be back with the next uh, tutorial thanks